Hey, how you doing? This is Steve Malone, real estate agent with Keller Williams and the Malone Realty Group. Thanks for tuning in. So today what we're going to talk about is in the buying process, what's one of the first things that you should do before you get anything else done? Uh, because there's a whole lot of things to do. Plug into a search, talk to a realtor, let's go out and start looking at some houses, things like that. But before you get anything going, the most important thing, we've talked about this before, but it's worth reiterating, the most important thing that you can do when you are looking to buy a house, first thing, get a pre-approval. Find out your buying power. Okay, so there's three reasons why that is the most important thing to do. Number one, we really need to find out, you know, what can you afford? And I'm not saying that and that you may not be able to afford what you're thinking, but with rates where they are right now, is there a chance you could actually go up a little bit? Could you have a little more buying power than you think that you do? Or you could say, what are my different options as far as the different programs that I'm in? Maybe I'm thinking I'm going to buy a $300,000 house. I'd love to get a 325, but you can only do three. Well, maybe with the rates where they are, maybe you could do 325. Maybe with the rates where they are, maybe you can't do the 325, but maybe there's some other options as far as different programs that could help you get closer to that 325. So things like that. So instead of settling and saying, I'm going to do the 300, you, maybe you could get to that 325. Now, we always say, I mean, most of the time people get pre-approved for well above, uh, you know, what they're going to look for. But that being said, it is nice to know that, you know what, if I were to get a house for, let's say, 300 this is what the price would be per month. If I was to do for 325 this is what it would be per month. Um, and we could arrange it to where it's pretty close or it could be right where you want it to be. And it's well below, you know, your actual pre-qualification level, things like that. So talking to a lender first gives you an idea of your buying power and what can you afford at the different payments going forward. So that's the first thing you want to do because then that's going to set the stage for uh, you know, what you're going to look at, what area you're going to look at, things like that. So that's the first thing, number one. Number two, number two reason why you want to uh, get a pre-qualification before you go out or even a pre-approval before we go out. Uh, a lot of times people aren't going to let you in the house unless you have a pre-qualification letter from a lender, unless you've talked to a lender. Somebody who's looking at a home that doesn't have a pre-qualification letter is just looking at houses. And sellers, especially as we record this, we're in the middle of the, the COVID uh, craziness of 2020. Uh, people don't want people in their houses if they don't need to be in their houses. So if you're not pre-qualified, uh, if you're not you know, set up with a lender to actually get a loan, if you're not a serious buyer in the eyes of the sellers, there may be a chance where they don't let you come in the house. So it's very important that you get it done so you can get into the house. But the other thing is, let's say you go and you find the perfect house. If you found the perfect house, I promise you, a lot of other people think that house is perfect too. So for that reason, you need to be ready to be aggressive on the offer you're going to put in. You can't be aggressive on the offer that you put in if you have not done the pre-qualification because you can have a great offer all you want but if no lender has looked at you to see if you can actually purchase the home the seller is going to go in another direction okay so we need to have the pre-qual done before we make the offer before we actually go out looking at homes it puts you in that position to let's go and actually purchase a home because there is a difference between looking at houses and going out to purchase a house all right so that's number two so again number one you want to figure out what is your buying power in the current market number two you need to do it uh, for when you go out in, you know, when you actually go out to actually get the house. And number three, um, a lot of times, especially some of the lenders that we work with, they can do uh, a, a more full pre-approval work versus just a pre-qualification. And the, the more you go into it and the more that you provide to the lender, the better a borrower you look like, the better a buyer you look like. And I'll tell you what that means. So you can do what's called a pre-qualification. You can call you know, lender, and you say, this is my social security number, this is what I make per month, this is what I make per year, they say, this is what you can afford. And that's basically, you know, that can be a, as easy as some of the, the lenders are on putting together a prequal. They may ask a couple more questions, do a little bit more, but um, some of the better lenders are doing a little bit more digging, a little bit more, you know, send me some W-2, send me some bank statements, send me some uh, uh, paycheck stubs, things like that. Let's figure that out. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of the underwriting ahead of time because then, A, when they put together the, the, the letter, they'll say, we've done some of the underwriting already. This is a pretty solid candidate. You know, there's a difference between somebody who's been pre-approved or had some work, you know, done ahead of time versus somebody who just calls in and gives in 
the uh, social security number. So if you go that extra step, you're gonna look like a better buyer. The other thing that we've seen is we've worked with lenders who you know, will actually make the phone call on behalf of the buyer and they'll say, hey, look, you know, we talked to them, you know, they've provided all their docs, they're well ahead of the time of where they're supposed to be, you know, we feel very confident we're gonna get this done, things like that. So in a multiple offer situation, if you've already given all your documents to a lender and let them do some of the work ahead of time, they can go on your behalf, call the realtor or call yeah, the realtor on the other side. You know, we'll give them the number, they'll call the realtor on the other side and kind of stand up for you and say, Hey, this is a great buyer. Let's rock and roll, let's make this happen. And it helps us to win situations. Um, you know, when it's you know, there's several offers on the table. If a lender comes in and says, Look, we got them, they're good, we've looked at their numbers, we've you know pulled some of their numbers, you know, everything looks good, that helps out. So being ahead of the game is gonna put you in a position to win in a multiple offer situation. So that's something to keep in mind too. That so what that means is you don't want to just go find the house and you look at it at four o'clock on a on a Monday, and you say, This is the perfect house, let's put in the offer. Have you done a pre qualification yet? No. You're not going to get really anything back from a lender until potentially the next morning. Uh, and even then, you know, you don't know if you're going to beat the clock or not. Because if it was a good house for you at 4 o'clock on a Monday, it was a good house for a lot of other people that afternoon. You've already got a bunch of offers that are in. And even if you put your offer in, if there's not a pre-call with it, it's going to go to the bottom of the pile. So having that pre-qualification ahead of time. The more homework we do ahead of time, the more homework that you do ahead of time, put you in a much better position to find that house and actually get out there and start looking. So keep that in mind. You want to get a house, you want to buy a house, is it a great market to do it because of the rates? It's kind of a weird market to do it because there's really no homes on the market as we record this in October of 2020. But that being said, one of the ways that you can get a leg up in the, um, in the uh, multiple offer situation is to have a very solid pre-qualification, very solid pre-approval from a lender. You want to talk a little bit more about that and what that means for your home search, give me a call 470-233-4409. Steve Keller Williams, Malone Realty Group. Y'all be good.